Have you ever encountered a situation where something struck you emotionally? If that's the case, it's likely to be a flashball memory. Two psychologists, Brown and Kulik, define flashball memory as memories of the circumstances in which one first learned of a very surprising and consequential or emotionally arousing event. Now, it's important to note that flashball memory is not the memory itself, like the moment when you first received a big award, but the memory of the circumstances, so where you were at, what you were doing, and so on. Here are the main characteristics of flashball memory. First, it involves the encounter of highly surprising and emotional information. You know how when you hear something very emotional, you seem to remember it more vividly and permanently? That's why this is a study tip, but you should really remember the jokes that the teacher tells you during class because although it is not so funny, it does trigger you emotionally, leading you to retain the information related to the joke better. Second, it is maintained by overt and covert rehearsal. Overt rehearsal is orally saying it to others, and covert rehearsal is private rehearsing or ruminating. Next, it's stored permanently in a unique memory system. They require a specialized neural mechanism. Lastly, they are vivid, last longer, and are more accurate. That's why it's harder for you to forget. Let's look at a study done by Brown and Kulik in 1977. Basically, Brown and Kulik interviewed 80 Americans, 40 African Americans, and 40 Caucasian Americans. They were to answer questions on 10 events, 9 on assassinations or attempted assassinations on well-known American personalities like John F. Kennedy, and one personal event that struck them emotionally. They were asked how much they rehearsed these events overly or orally and covertly or ruminating. Why did that come out right now? The results show that J.F. Kennedy's assassination in 1963 led to the most flashball memories. Maybe since he was a very well-known American personality that a lot of people knew and a lot of people were shocked by that. African Americans recall more flashable memories of civil rights leaders such as the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. And most participants, 73 out of 80, recalled their personal event, their last event. This study concludes that it supports the definition of Brown and Kulik's definition for flashball memory. It supports the idea that flashball memories are formed when we ha encounter highly surprising or emotional information. The assassinations were very surprising because these American personalities were like presidents, civil rights leaders. They were very well known. They are also maintained by overt and covert rehearsal because in the study they asked how much they rehearsed it overtly and covertly. Third, they are vivid, last longer, and are more consistent and accurate. A shocking 73 out of 80 people could recall their really shocking personal event. Lastly, they require for a special neural mechanism which stores information permanently in a unique memory system. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!